This week on Title Talk, we're going to discuss how to avoid interpretation issues on effective dates and how they are calculated. Hi, I'm Jim Brown, a Florida real estate attorney, attorney at James Brown Law, and owner of New Path Title. This week, we're going to discuss effective dates and interpreting them without confusion when you're dealing with the other side. So if you're a real estate agent and your buyer or the buyer in the transaction makes an offer for the purchase of property on Monday, so they have submitted an offer and on line 601, They've signed the contract and attached a date. On Tuesday of that same week, the seller gets the contract and they've bumped the purchase price $10,000 and they've initialed the change and dated the change on Tuesday on line 26 and sent it back to the buyer and the buyer initials the contract on line 26 but does not date the contract, what is the effective date of the contract? The effective date of the contract would be Tuesday. Why is that? Because the Four Corners rule says any third party looking at the transaction has to make a decision as to the effective date based on the dates appearing into the, in the contract. So there's information outside the contract that the agents are aware of that the buyer initialed on Wednesday, but if you're looking at the four corners of the contract, the meeting of the minds occurred on Tuesday as far as the dates of the transaction. So again, on line 600, the buyer dates the contract Monday. They send the contract back to the seller who signs it on line 600 in the 600 section. Um, on Tuesday and they also initial the contract uh, changing the price so there's an offer a counter offer but in the, in the chronology of dates are Monday and Tuesday but then on Wednesday there's no additional date attached but the buyer agrees to the bump in the purchase price so the meeting of the minds occurred on Wednesday but the problem is the contract dates only reflect Tuesday so now you send the contract to the title company, the title company calls the effective date Tuesday and the realtors call us and they want to know why and that's the four corners rule which says that the contract shall be interpreted as the terms appear within the four corners of the contract without, without any other information provided and so the, the, the fix for that is of course buyers would like to have as long an inspection period and as long a loan approval period as they can. So the buyers would like to bump the effective date out and the sellers want to shorten it up. But the, regardless, the fix to that is if there's any ambiguities on effective dates, an addendum can be circulated, DocuSign or whatever, a one-line addendum that just says the effective date is, and then you give the date. Is it Monday? Is it Tuesday? Is it Wednesday? You can even backdate effective dates. In your addendum, make sure you use capital E capital D when using the word effective date because that is a defined term if you look at line 49 of the contract. So again, the rule to walk away with is when evaluating effective dates, it's the last date appearing on the terms which construct the meeting of the minds. Any questions, give me a call. I'd be happy to talk about it with you. And stay tuned next week for our next title talk. Hit like and subscribe and thanks again.